They say it's a time of giving, but we say it's a time of taking! That's right, it's time to give five more terrible, terrible comic villains their due. Thanks, Taking returns this week on Geek, Geek Crash, Crash Course. Course. <laughs> <laughs> Let's dig into some more best of the worst. First up, Stiltman, a.k.a. Wilbur Day, who began his villainous comics history as an inventor and engineer who steals the plans for a hydraulic ram and uses them to construct a suit of armor with telescoping legs. Not a strong plan, but Stiltman's armor is also coated in a special silicon that prevents Spider-Man's webs from attaching, so he's a bit of a threat. At least he was until the Punisher shot him to death. There have been other Stiltman and Lady Stiltman since Day's death, but they never really captured the magic of the original. Okay, if you're like, stop picking on Marvel deal, let's talk about DC comic superstar Kite Man, aka Chuck Brown, who equips himself with a giant hang glider kite. He also has smaller throwable kites, he doesn't play well with others, so Deathstroke threw him off of a building without his giant kite glider. He survived because comics and ended up in jail. While in jail, Kite Man was killed and eaten, but not in like an artsy Hannibal way, either way it's the last of him. Also Chuck Brown, like Charlie? Same guy. Really? That's a lie. Oh. After the original Stiltman's death, a funeral was held for him in The Bar With No Name, a secret New York City bar for Marvel's various heroes and villains. The wake was lovely until a massive bar fight broke out. The Unicorn, a.k.a. Milos Mazurek, is a Soviet secret agent sent to recover the original Crimson Dynamo, a scientist who had defected to America and was working with Tony Stark, the Invincible Iron Man. Unicorn has a technological third eye that can emit a powerful energy horn. I got through that paragraph without laughing. Mazurek slash Unicorn ends up driven insane by a bizarre disease, and he tries to walk back to the Soviet Union through the ocean. He dies, but is brought back to life by a sort of god called the Beyonder, who's a whole thing we're not getting into this week. He's given a real sort of magic laser third eye, and he's roamed around attacking folks since then. BT dubs, Iron Man's villains are all terrible. They're just all terrible. And I'm a huge Iron Man fan. Although Batman has amazing villains like Crazy Quilt, a former crime boss betrayed by his henchmen and blinded by gunfire. A doctor restores his eyesight, but Quilt now sees extremes of super vivid and disorienting color, which drives him insane. He puts on a wacky outfit resembling a crazy quilt that also includes a mind control helmet that fires colored lasers and renews his life of crime, battling Batman and one or two Robins in the process. At one point, he beats the crap out of second Robin Jason Todd because he confused him with original Robin Dick Grayson. Jason Todd, not the luckiest of Robins. Fun fact. Anyway, Quilt sort of stopped showing up. There was also a lady crazy Quilt. There are too many villains that are just lady versions of villains. Comics people, make new cooler lady villains. Heroes 2. In an issue of Blackhawks, Crazy Quilt was impersonated by a guy named Decker. This has caused some confusion in later comics, including Kevin Smith's Batman the Widening Geyer, which incorrectly identified Decker as the real Crazy Quilt. He isn't, but it's Crazy Quilt. So who cares? The final villain of this year's Thanks Taking is actually one of my favorites, and he's appearing on TV. It's classic Flash Rogue, Captain Boomerang. The illegitimate son of an American soldier and an Australian woman, Digger Harkness grew up very poor. To amuse himself as a child, he learned to carve and throw perfect boomerangs. He became the mascot for a toy company run by the father he'd never met, but was ridiculed to the point of becoming a supervillain, attacking folks with his deadly boomerangs. Since then, there's been the occasional waiver from villain to anti-hero, including a tour with the Suicide Squad, a team of villains captured and sent on missions by government agent Amanda Waller. Quick check here. Captain Boomerang? Still terrible. Fact. Before the big DC Comics New 52 reboot, Harkness was killed while killing the father of Tim Drake, aka the third Robin. Lots of Robins this week. He then returns in the big Blackest Night slash Brightest Day event and ends up back in jail. Since the big reboot wiped away a ton of continuity, Harkness is alive and boomeranging once more. Oh, homework. Um, tell us your favorite terrible comic villain in the comments below. And remember to subscribe for more Geek Crash Course. There, I did it. That sounds good. It's done. That sounds good. Captain Boomerang built special boomerangs to commit his crimes, including versions with blades, explosives, and acid. Thanks for watching this week's episode of Geek Crash Course. And thanks, Taking! Taking! 
If you have any questions, you can find us on Twitter, Facebook, and our website, geekcrashcourse.com. Thanks for taking, and we'll see you next time on, on Geek, Geek Crash, Crash Course. Course. Take it all! <laughs> Thanks, Too much. I get really into Thanksgiving. I'm sorry. Bring it down. I like mashed potatoes, the corn with a little bit of gravy on the top. You got to take it all. <laughs> <laughs>